This is from uh, this is from Paul Pierce. Oh, talking snap. about top five passers. Oh, okay. We're getting into this. Okay, <laughs> I thought I was going to get to the other one. Nah, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that too, for sure. I already know what you're talking about. We're going to play the audio yeah. here shortly. talking last night at dinner about you know the old school with magic where would you put joker versus magic in terms of passing oh magic ultimate pass so you're, I mean, there's no there's no he's number two close. behind him though he's not even so who's number two as far as passer yeah joker is not even a top five passer it's because he's a big man he, he's the best big man big but man like, when we just talk about pure passer mm -hmm. you got to talk about guys like magic White chocolate, Jason Williams, That's true. Rondo, Pete Maravich, Larry Bird. When we talk about flash and style with it, we talk about guys that throw it uh, behind the neck. I just love no it. look. I mean, Joker is great, but when we talk about just pure special passers, J Kid. Yes. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You know you're what right. I'm saying? I just love. I love watching Joker do his thing yeah, because in these we ain't playoffs. Seen it from a seven footer do all of it. Right. I mean, it's just, it's so fun. And the way he yeah. does it, he's got flair. He's not looking half the time. Yeah, but we I ain't just... seeing him come down. The no, I know. You're right. You're right. Hi. Yeah, like <laughs> like Jacob or the fake behind the back like Rondo. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah, that's, I mean... that's true. That's true. All right, so that's Paul Pierce. Uh, you know, give him his take. I mean, I think he made a he made a solid argument, but we're gonna start with, with Nick and <laughs> so we got his hair raised. Was there eager to what's, what's going on? Honestly, honestly, I agree. I agree. I mean, look, honestly, like I don't think it takes nothing away from Joker passing ability, but I mean, you gotta think like you know, we can't overshadow like a lot of the great passes that came in NBA history. But, I mean, look, give credit to Joker, man. I mean, I think Joker as a big, I think he's definitely changed the game as far as, you know, his facilitating his in his in his core vision. So, you know, I definitely love what he's been doing over, the, like, throughout his career, you know, and, like, you know, what he has left to offer. But, I mean, I, I definitely agree with Paul Pierce on this one. Like, you know, when you talk about some of the greatest passes, like, I even have my list of my personal five passes. I got Jake Kidd. I got Rondo. I got Magic. I got Steve Nash. And I got Mark Jackson. And I mean, I mean, honestly, the list could even be longer, honestly. So it's like, you know, when you think about, and hell, he brought up white chocolate. I forgot about white chocolate. Like, yo, the passes that he was making, like behind the back, like, come on, man. Like, I mean, I know Yogi's is a good passer, but Yogi's ain't doing that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there was guys out here that that prioritized in passing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't score. They didn't rebound. Like, they prioritized in facilitating and moving the ball. So it's like. And look, like I said, I'm not taking nothing away from Joker. I think that he's a phenomenal passer. But when you talk about, like, a lot of the greats who have been known for the passing ability and, you know, being able to rack up assists, like, I don't think he's there yet. Now, can he possibly move up that ladder? Of course he can. Joker has really just hit the prime of his career, so he has, a, he has a long way to go. But as of right now, I don't know if I could put him in that list as far as a top five passer. Okay. I made uh, crazy eyes for you, Nick, when you said that you agree with him just because I was going to throw you off your game. I totally agree with him, too. Uh, <laughs> I think Jokic is a good passer. He's a great passer. But, you know, I'm not trying to take anything from him when I say this. But when you're seven foot tall and the IQ that he does have for the play layout, the blueprint of what's going on, it does make it a lot easier. And, again, I'm not saying this as in a negative way for him. The guy just understands where his players are going to be at what time when the defense does what, and he knows where to put the ball, which is a great passer. But when I say great passer and think of like top five players, the first two that come to my head is one of my favorite players with this Jason Kidd. It didn't matter where he was on the court. You could get a lob. The defense could have a back wall of four guys standing there, and he could still thread the needle to make the perfect pass for the lob. Uh, the play that comes to my mind was Jason Kidd taking the inbounds play out on the side with uh, Yao Ming standing over him, who's seven foot whatever. 
and there's like I think four point four seconds to go on the clock, and he just Jason Kidd literally leans over to assess where everyone is standing, knows what's going to be drawn on the play, and really just throws the ball where he can't even see, and it's a perfect lob on the weak side of the goal, the opposite side of it. For I can't remember, I want to say it's against Carter, I can't remember, but a jump catch, tip in basically shoot game winner, perfect phenomenal pass. That is a great passer. And then my number two is White Chocolate, Jason Williams, the way that he was just with the ball. He had it on a yo-yo string, it looked like at times, throwing it behind his back, hitting the elbow over to another player. He was just so crafty. And I think that's where I think a lot of the best passers category would be is more crafty, more show, more uh, wow passes, which Jokic does have some, but most of his passes are a no look from eight feet up in the air that he just dumps down to somebody. Now, I agree with you, Nick, that he could possibly get there. It's just he's a triple-double threat, but he does so much other things that it's hard to say that he is just a great passer like some of these other guys. Like, I mean, yes, they're good shooters, and they they, uh, can drive, create playmakers like that, but they were great passers. Now, I started writing down my list, and I I couldn't stop at five because, you know, John Stockton, who is the leading assist man, wasn't even mentioned there. Now, he isn't crafty but he leads the league in assists. But I got John Stockton, Jason Kidd, Jason Williams, Chris Paul, who is a good passer because he puts you in a spot of where you can excel as you catch the ball in your best motion of scoring. Uh, Pete Maravich, which he said, Rondo, Larry Bird, Magic. That's just some names that I just wrote down quickly when trying to think of this. So can he get in that category? Absolutely. But right now, we're just seeing the the tip of the iceberg of what he can do as passing skills on this too. Yeah, I got I got him in my top five. I got him in my top five right now all, all time. Man. <laughs> it's just, Are you sure, man? Like, I mean, we uh, we talking about a lot of great passes. Wait, 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 let's seventy hear, plus seventy let's hear your plus list, years of NBA. Like, let's hear what you got first and, and who you're leaving out. Yeah, so uh, I'm leaving out uh, Jason Williams and and, Ron, and, and Rondo. Uh, he he five, had 28 assists in a in a playoff game. Yeah, and he couldn't nah, shoot. No, yeah. Nah, yeah, Rondo Rondo is special. Rondo is, it's, it's a it's a close it's a close list. You, you're really splitting hairs, um, but I, it's, there's no there's no order, no specific order, but. Magic, Kid, Jokic, Stockton, and Nash. Uh, I think a lot of people forget about Steve Nash. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could have took Stockton out of it. I'm sorry. No, I can't stay. I can't take He's Stockton out. Of it. Lead assist. I mean, it's it's that, that record's never going to be broken. Record's never going to be broken. So uh, you got to. And it's from Cassie. It. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> he he, ha- he has to be in there. Larry Bird, Pistol Pete Maravich, also um, LeBron. Honestly, you could throw LeBron in there too. We didn't even mention LeBron. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely up there. That's if that you want to do a top ten. I mean, that's kind of the top ten right there. Uh, yeah, it's just one. He's doing it at, at the five position, and really the only person to do that at the five position was Will Chamberlain, and everybody discredits Will Chamberlain's stats because <laughs> of who? Because he only played against seven, eight teams, and he was the only seven footer in a seven team league. Well, he's doing it in the modern day NBA uh, with. Complex defenses at him every night because he's the best player, um, and he does ha- he does have those flashy passes. I'm on the East Coast, so you know I don't see a lot of Nuggets games. But I, you know, I, when we when, you know we were producing producing the show and coming up with topics, yeah, that's like a that's like a two and a half hour video. Uh, NBA is like a him just straight assists from like his rookie season to now. And he and all all the passes that he that that Paul Pierce was talking about, he has all of that too. And he's doing this at the center position. We're calling him a point five. Um, he's 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 special, um, and, and that and that's 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 just one of his gifts is is the is his passing, and that's one of the things that um, is one of the main reasons why they won the championship um, is because he gets everyone involved, and and with him being the best player, so, and that's also what makes him unique. Um, as opposed to the other all-time bigs, is his passing. We talk about Shaq. We talk about the dominance in the paint. We talk about the elite post moves from Akeem Olajuwon, 
to say kind of the same thing with, with Will Chamberlain, Dominus, he kind of did everything, right? We know that the stats are out of this world, all the 100-point games and 50 and 25 and everything. But for Patrick Ewing, post move, everything. But for, for Jokic now, as he continues to, you know, add add more more gold, you know, to his uh to the shelf, that's that's his calling card, man. Is 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 the passing. Uh just just he's just he's elite, bro. He's he's elite. 30, when you get 30, 20, and 10 in the NBA finals, it's like the only other person to do that is is Hakeem, I mean uh Kareem and and Will Chamberlain. Listen, listen, like, and those and those are some good lists, and those are all those guys are all point guards, so they should be doing that. This guy is a center, <laughs> so you're saying like yeah, like you're saying you're saying he's a seven footer, but he's a seven footer. He he should be susceptible to getting the ball turned over, right? He shouldn't he shouldn't be able to be, be able to pass like that because again, it's, he's only one of one. There's no other center in the league that's doing what he's doing. Like, so if it was that easy, we see more centers diamond diamond guys up. In the league right now, we're not seeing that. He's the only one doing that. Um, we talk about uh, Embiid. What do we talk about? What Embiid needs to improve on? Playmaking. So it's like, and he's and he's his only counterpart in the world right now at that position. So um, I got him there because I I I expect him to. You know, I don't know what the, I don't know how many assists Will Chamberlain has all time for centers. He might he might have a he might have the number might be so high that it's unbreakable. Oh. Actually, I've got to pull it up right here because I was I was interested in this. So right now, after 569 games, Jokic has played. He's at 3,696 assists. Now, Bill Russell, who is third on this all-time list of centers, has played 963 games, which is 400 games more with 4,100 assists exactly. So he's four – let's see here. He's 500 assists, less than 500 assists away from uh, Bill Russell at third place. Now Kareem is at the top with 500. Or I'm sorry, 5,000, 5,660 5, assists all time in 1,500 games. So he's at basically 3,700 assists in less than 600 games. You double that, and he's got it. So in so less it's just, games, it's just health. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be the long. Well, not really the longevity. As long as he stays healthy, because if he doubles what he's played so far, he's got that already. Like already. it's going to take him less games to get what uh, Kareem has. Already, man, and and again, he's playing in the era that that uh, feeds that, that, that right there. Spacing, him. yes, that magnifies spacing too and shooting, and he has the right teammates around him that understand, and he's drawing so many people to him. Those dimes, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be easy. He, he averaged a triple double this year, right? Or he was maybe like a I believe he was like an assist away from averaging a triple yeah, double. Yeah, like maybe like maybe like not even assist, like maybe like point I mean, maybe a point five assist right. away. Yeah, so I mean it, he's he's a triple double threat every season, like every season, like we saw with Westbrook. Um, so and I I think him and Doncic will probably surpass Westbrook. For most triple doubles all time, eventually, right? obviously not right now. Westbrook has it right now, but say in eight years or so, the way they've been, you know, the way they're moving the basketball, they're they're going to be in the top three um, for for most triple doubles all time. So it's a good discussion. There's obviously there's some great passers and and bringing talking about some old school guys, some old school legends like Pistol Pete. Rondo was was exceptional at the playmaking for him to be able to be so selfless. Um, and, and understand his role, set those guys up, the big three. He was a big, he was a monumental piece into the, the Celtics run during during those years. Um, if he's not there, I don't think they, they don't win a championship. I don't think they win a championship, even with those three guys, because he was setting those guys up and putting those guys in the right positions to score, making shots easier um, for Pierce, KG, and, and Ray Allen. So uh, he he was a, he's a big time passer. He's one of my favorite favorite true point guards ever. Uh, but again, I, for, for Jokic to do this at the center position, this is something we haven't seen in the league since, you know, Kareem, Will Chamberlain. So he's 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 in a different he's in a different world. So yeah, I, I got him in my top five. I, got 
I don't know. I don't know this yet, man. I mean, like I said, I think I think he's a great passer, man. But I'm talking. I'm thinking of like I'm thinking of overall NBA history, man. I've seen a lot of great passes. I went back and watched a lot of great passes. Now look, Jokic's IQ is amazing, especially for a big. Because I mean, I mean, we we have had great passing bigs. Obviously, um, what's his name? Sabonis when he played for Portland, he was a pretty good passer. Um, you know, and a few other guys as well. So I mean, there definitely has been a lot of great, or a lot of good bigs that had, that were passes, but I don't think any of them are as great as Jokic. So I definitely give him that edge. But it's just kind of hard for me to say he's like top five passer like in NBA history, like right now. Can he get there? Yes, I could. I definitely believe that he can get there. But as of right now, I, I'm not sure yet.